Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline. So today I wanted to film a very glam, summery inspired look. It's got a very peachy cheek with a very fluttery, upturned eye. And I'm so excited to be working with Essence on this video. You guys know Essence is one of my favorite makeup brands of all time, so I'm so excited to be collaborating with them on this. And I also have a massive giveaway at the end of this video. Like this might just be the biggest makeup giveaway that I've ever done, so I'm super pumped about that. And stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to win all that makeup. Without further ado, let's hop into the tutorial. So I'm just gonna start off with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is really good just to have a nice, smooth, and even base. So I'm just gonna take a dollop of that and put that all over my face. Then I'm gonna go in with a foundation. This one here is the NARS Sheer Glow. I would recommend using a foundation like this that's medium to buildable coverage because we want the focus to be on the eyes and we wanna have a really clean, even base. So I'm just gonna take that um, all over the face and blend out with the Damp Beauty Blender. Next, to conceal my under eyes, I'm just gonna take the Clarins Instant Light Under Eye Concealer. This is just really brightening and it helps cancel out some of my discoloration. So pop that under your eyes and again, take the Beauty Blender and blend everything out. And I'm gonna go in with the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Now this is gonna be really good at evening out your eyelid and making sure that the pigments of the eyeshadow that we're gonna put on top really pop and stand out. And it's also gonna make sure that the eyeshadows last all day. So just pop that on your lids and blend it out with your finger. Then to set everything in place, I'm just gonna take this Wet n Wild Translucent Powder, set under my eyes and set my eyelids. So I always like to take a powder puff to do this to really press the product in, but then once it's all on, I do take a brush and just kind of wipe away any excess and you're good to go. Then I'm gonna move on to brows and I think I forgot to include a close-up shot of this. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and I'm just gonna you know, lightly fill in the brows and go through with a spoolie to make sure it's blended in good. Then we're gonna go in with one of my favorite products. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. It's the Essence Make Me Brow. My shade is in the shade Brownie Brows and I just love the name of that and basically just comb that through the eyebrows. This is really good because it has some fibers, so it does add some fullness, some control because it is a brow gel, and some color as well. Then moving on to eyeshadow, I'm gonna take this Rodial, Rodial, I never know how to say this, this eyeshadow palette, which is beautiful. I'm gonna start with that kind of bone, creamy yellow color, and it's a matte shadow, so just put that all over the lid. Again, this will just kind of prep the eye. Then we're gonna go in with the next color over, it's the medium caramelly matte color, and just pop that through the socket and just blend that out. So then we're just gonna build up the depth of the crease. So we're gonna just go in with the darker matte color and start at the outer corner and blend again. Then take that color and blend that onto the lower lash line and also smudge that into the upper lash line. This will just create a little bit of fullness and just a bit more definition. And moving on to my favorite drugstore highlighter of all time, the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So I'm just gonna blot off that lip gloss that I had on. My lips were so dry when I was filming this. I'm gonna take that highlighter on my cupid's bow, inner corner, brow bone, top of the cheekbone, center of the eyelid, basically anywhere where I wanna add a little bit of a glow and just a bit of warmth. But it's not too crazy and in your face, that's why I love this highlighter. Um, anyways, moving on to eyeliner, I'm just taking the Stila Stay All Day Felt Tip Liner and doing a little wing there. And I'm also gonna go in with this Charlotte Black Coal Liner and I'm gonna actually do my upper waterline. If you have lighter color eyes like me, it's definitely worth it because it makes the eyeliner look a lot more cohesive and just super black. Then moving on to blush, this is the Essence Blush Up Powder Blush and this is the most gorgeous, peachy, summery, springy color ever. I'm just gonna start by taking that on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of bringing that backwards and upwards, like towards the temples almost. Um, so I'm just gonna slowly build that up and I'm sticking more to the peachy pink side of the powder because it has like the orange side and the peachy side and you can kind of mix them together. Um, but I'm gonna take the orange kind of side of the blush and pop that in the crease of my eye just to kind of make the look a bit more cohesive and keep that peachy warmth to the whole look if that makes any sense. Then I'm just going back in with the blush and building that up. And then moving on to bronzer, I'm taking the Charlotte Foam Star Bronze and Glow and I'm gonna use the bronzer from that palette and just add a little bit of warmth to the face. Then I'm gonna take the Essence Matte 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 Lipstick in the shade 01. And this is just kind of like a very wearable, neutral, everyday pink. And I'm just gonna pop that all over my lips. Then 
Then I'm gonna go and do my lashes. I've got the Kiss Lashes in Jasmine here and some eyelash glue. I'm just gonna trim those to be basically just outer corner lashes and just pop them there. That way it's very fluttery and like comes to a nice upturned kind of wing. Um, anyways, I feel like I was doing my makeup so backwards. I was going from eyes to face to lips, but anyways, that's just what I was feeling that day apparently. So just pop on some mascara on top and bottom and you are good to go. Then I decided to add a lip gloss on. This is the Essence Volume On Plumping Lip Gloss. So I'm just gonna add a generous layer of that on my lips. I've been super into lip gloss lately, so I've, I've been applying it in copious amounts, but I just love the look of a very glossy, shiny lip. And then to finish everything off, I'm gonna take Urban Decay's Quick Fix. This is like a coconut refreshing mist thing. So put that all over your face and you are done. Okay, so this is a finished look. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments. But what I'm sure you guys have all been waiting for is this massive giveaway. So basically I have everything here in a bag that's very heavy. I'm gonna actually insert a shot of it all laid out. That way you guys can see all of the makeup that's in here because there is a ton. Literally whoever wins this is gonna have like a brand new collection of makeup. It's going to take them forever to go through all of it. Um, but anyways, Essence had sent me a bunch of goodies to try out, some new products that I hadn't tested out yet, and they sent me some doubles. So I was like, perfect, I'll do a giveaway with the doubles and someone else can try them out. Then I was like, no, I think I gotta take this to the next level. So I went to the store and I picked up some more Essence products. I picked up a few of my favorites and then I quickly, I just ended up with this massive bag of makeup. <laughs> Got a little carried away in the store, guys. Um, anyways, one of you guys is gonna be winning all of these goodies. All you have to do is click the link down below. It's gonna be the first thing in the description box. Click that and it'll tell you how to enter. It's super easy. So best of luck. Make sure you guys enter the giveaway. Whoever wins this is going to be in makeup heaven, I assure you. Um, and like I said, a bunch of those products, I made sure to pick out like my favorite lipsticks and things like that. So these are all of my favorites and I hope you guys, or I hope whoever wins it loves them as much as I do. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. Enter the giveaway. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye. just gonna want to repeat that process until all the lipsticks are done and oh I had to include this clip because it was so satisfying Ooh, so nice um, anyway so just repeat the process it definitely is pretty time-consuming I'm sure as you can tell from the lipstick smudges everywhere and the mess I was getting more sloppy towards the ends